Oh. Hi. Hi. And Mark Hansen. Okay. Rush. Few more of Miami. You got rid of the short man so that you can have two tall men coming up the next day. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Amisa P. And as promised, I am back with a short review of Ready to Love Episode 2. Let's get right into it, y'all. Cynthia girl, I need to get on that diet. That lady is fine. Oh my God. Like, did y'all see her body? Like, I need, I need to go to the gym, y'all. This is what I thought. I'm not going to lie. Mark Anthony is a good looking young man. He good looking. As you saw, they got four new people. And honestly, I'm like, what was the point on having them come in the next day? right before you eliminated those two other ones like they didn't even get to know each other to learn about each other that you're already bringing new people in their face it's not really going to stop any type of like energy i don't think the singles at that moment had the time to really make any solid connection so yeah whatever we know that's the type of surprise that Tommy likes to do Paris. Oh, mm, that was nice. my first job so i've dated a lot of women from a lot of places around the world and let me and let me tell you i live yeah. in paris per, you see it's yeah. extremely sexual yeah. we got some questions too and they put us on the spot too so i reciprocated and did the same it's very important to me oh this is not paris though like x coming in really hard talking about sex all the time honestly is giving me creeps i'm like fabrice you're 44 years old you, whatever you've been doing obviously has not been working thinking either he is very comfortable in what he is doing and honestly is just looking for more people that he can have sex with he's not really looking for a wife right he's not looking for a serious relationship honestly he's giving me creep vibe let me all know what you think in the comments i think that those ladies really need to pay attention to those men because they're not really adding their cards they're not adding their ends Fabrice is about the sex. He's saying sex is number one for him. It's the most important. And with all the experience that I think they have as a collective, being that they're people of a certain age, they should know by now that you cannot build a relationship on sex. Yes, I'm ready to love, but I can't just love anybody. No, you can't. A lot of it has to do with finances. Do you feel like you would spoil a woman? I think would spoil you. I think I give to you what you earn. What do you mean, Mark Anthony? Like you give to a woman what you heard. What does a woman need to do in order to earn you giving her stuff and spoiling her? I don't know. Those men nowadays, I don't know if it's the way they express themselves. Like you shouldn't have to earn anything. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you want to do things for them and spoil them, that's your prerogative. They shouldn't have to earn anything. You do things because you want to do them you start a conversation talking about you're not ready to love just anybody so the finance is a big thing to you we understand girl get to know the man like get to know who he is you know you're not going to start a conversation with somebody talking about you you're ready to love but you cannot just like love anybody because finance is important to you like honestly i feel like she has a lack of tact i wouldn't start a conversation with a man that i just met talking about finances i feel that at some point in a conversation whenever you get to know somebody you will get to the finance part right and i feel like her being so much into money like girl did you come to the show so that the rich man can find you if yes i don't think a millionaire or the type of man you're looking for is going to be over there at the show with you looking for a girl that want to be with a rich man because those type of men don't have problem catching fishes they don't have problem catching women because there's plenty of women out like you in those streets that want a rich man too so i just don't know why she would choose to come into the show with that type of angle and being so open with it i don't think those guys that are here looking for love are necessarily like rich as men or stuff like that like well I want this and I don't want that. Mm -hmm. So you That's kinda, a good thing though, right? Or no? I hear you. That way nobody wastes time. You know, we had that whole like talk about, do I live alone? But there was a part of me that was like, is that something you'd really like write somebody off for? 
I don't prefer it. Yeah. I live alone, so I that's feel, yeah. very important yeah. to me. I'm very particular about what I want and what I don't want. And if you cannot afford me, then just say that. Corvaya girl, 31 years old. If you're looking for a rich man, ready to love cast is not going to be where you're going to find a rich man. Okay, you live in Miami. I'm pretty sure you know where to find the type of rich man that you want to be with. And you better hope that you're the type of woman that those rich men wants to be with. Listen, as I said, similar to Blake on episode one, Corvaya is coming to the show looking for a rich man, knowing that her chance of meeting a rich man on Ready to Love are very low. Ready to Love is not a single dating show for rich men looking for women right those guys are average guys right like they're accountants they are you know a certain type of men they, I mean, they may have money or anything but they're not the millionaire guy that you may be looking for because the truth is that yeah as mark anthony said you're giving gold digger vibe you're so much into the finance situation right away and then i felt like you, should, you didn't need to tell this guy that he couldn't afford her or anything because I feel like there's two different things. I understand why, as a grown woman, she doesn't want to talk to a man that maybe has a roommate or stuff like that. I understand that. But my point is you don't want to come into a conversation talking about money so early on. I feel like if money is all that interests you, why come to Ready to Love and go into that process? She give me spoiled and she gives me you in the wrong show and she gives me you should have been eliminated eventually they eliminated z i like z you know it's episode two we don't really know the girl she's trying to figure herself out obviously she has not have a connection with anybody just yet but personality wise and stuff she was okay i feel like once again corvaya should have been eliminated because she's looking for a rich man and even though i don't know what those guy finance are i feel like she is not approaching the show in the best way she's being very clear i feel like for corvaya they should all give her like their financial statement so that she knows who she can eliminate and date from and go from there um but i don't think this is what ready to love is on i don't think that's what ready to love is about and once again they eliminate the lady because they haven't had a connection after seeing her what couple of times i don't know y'all i feel like once again the show is more for entertainment than it is genuine you know i'm just being honest and that is the reason why i don't even want to waste my time to do a 30 minute review talking about those people that honestly even though they are of a certain age most of them may not really be ready to love. Let me all know what you think in the comment, you know. And for those of you that are new, hey, welcome. And I invite you to, you know, and for those of you that have been here with me, supporting me, thank you all so much for your comment. Thank you all so much for watching my videos. I encourage you to watch my videos a little bit more if this is something that you like. Feel free to leave me a comment if you want me to do more detailed review. Honestly, I like the show, I like watching it, but having to do a full review on people that I think are not really ready to love is not very entertaining to me. But hey, if this is something that you do want, I care about y'all and your opinions and I definitely will oblige. On this note, I will see you all next week for another episode review. Bye.